Greetings and welcome to another Alpha Magnus review. Uh, today we've got this. This is the uh, whew, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves Golden Archive Gelatinous Cube. Um, I managed to find this. This is normally thirty four ninety seven, but I managed to find it for twenty one at a walmart of all places um i didn't s even see these at walmart so they literally just got them out of the box and stuck them on clearance i think uh <laughs> pretty weird i just saw the movie it's good i will say that i don't even i'm not even a dungeons and dragons guy but it was definitely a good movie um uh, transparent blah 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 dissolves any prey yada 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 it does come with a bunch of these neat little knickknacks all from the dungeons and dragons world i'm assuming and then it does allow you to put one of your guys inside, um, which is the plan. Uh, I did not buy this for the Honor Among Thieves, although I might pick those figures up because it was a decent enough movie. Um, but I am currently on a clearance kick, and I'm not buying anything unless it's on clearance because money costs money and time. Uh, anyway... <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to probably buy anything full price. In fact, they had the Raycor, and I didn't even pick that up because it wasn't articulated enough. I do want an Owlbear, so I probably will order that. As it goes, I have the, the, the cartoon Dungeons & Dragons, which is what I bought this for. And I'm probably going to get Grimsword and... Uh, why am I forgetting his name? War Duke. Probably going to get those two, but I really don't have any interest in any of the heroes from NECA. Uh, I think Grimsword just looks awesome. Uh, if that's a reason to buy a toy, that is the only reason to buy a toy. Um, yeah. Get this ridiculous thing out. So this is why I wanted to do this, because I don't think enough people have done uh, instructions on this guy, and it, it's weird how it looks. So, we're going to take a, take a look. It's in a book. Comes in these weird plastic free packaging that, that Hasbro has been trying to push on us that they're now going to back up. Um, so, some of the stuff, these are just plates. I would assume there are six of them. big if you're planning on using miniatures for Dungeons and Dragons, unless you have like just a, a giant gelatinous cube. Um, looks like all the parts come pre-installed. That's a little bit of a bummer. I was looking forward to actually putting these things on here. I mean, I can take them off. Whatever. <laughs> so it shows you here. First thing you find is the base. Which is... Ooh, something's falling out there. Can I find the base? This looks like a base to me. Uh, it's a little bent. That's annoying. I'm assuming it'll probably fix itself. Here, uh, Donnie, you can hold that up. So... Looks like the one with the axe goes right here. Maybe. So it's got the little dots there. Yeah, that was the right side. Uh, it is weirdly... This is a weird... I don't like this. <laughs> Alright, looks like this goes... Oh, what? I have it upside down, no wonder. Gotta be smarter than the cube, I guess. I don't know why I assumed that it would be, eh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> this goes over here, and it fits just like a, just like you would expect it to, right? Ugh. 
This is for this is sized for six inch figures, by the way. I don't know if I even said that because I've been kind of out of it here. <laughs> so this goes in here. Make sure that you feed this piece. Jesus, what is this? Feed this piece in here. And hey, thanks. Uh, I I just broke a milestone and didn't even realize it because for whatever reason YouTube's not telling me when people subscribe to my channel all the time. Um, so thank you. I just broke 200 and I'm already at 240. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for everyone watching. I suppose eventually people will start commenting <laughs> or telling me how stupid I am. That works too. I don't care. Um, and this slides in here. Slide in here. Click, click, boom. We got it. This thing is huge. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be this big. I don't know why, because it does fit a six inch figure. Um, it looks like the part with the leg goes in here. What? All right, there. It just slides right in. I, I feel kind of bad because I feel like the, the, the Hasbro team was really excited about these. And then I feel like these figures did not sell that well. I think part of it is, is that they're trying to sell this in the toy aisle. This really belonged in the, um, in the NECA aisle. In my, in my humble opinion. Oh my goodness. Those things start falling left and right. There. Oh. I, I don't see how a child would have ever gotten that if they got this gift. I'm like exhausted now from that. All right, let's put this leg back. Looks like everything clicks in pretty easily. I uh, don't really know what you're going to be using this leg for uh, just on its own. Uh, I feel like that probably could have been glued in. Uh, the book's kind of cool. So you can pull the book off. But... Some armor, got a, uh, a, a, this, this annoys me. It's like a gourd type, um, cause it's not really a potion bottle. It's more like a water something or other, but it's flat, which is kind of weird. Whatever. Don't drop it. Oh God, don't drop it. Um, yeah, this is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> So then this piece goes in the bottom, and that's what holds your figures together if you want to have them floating amongst the goo. I thought this was two pieces, but it's just one. Um, that's it. That is 100% it. This was $35 uh, to begin with. I paid $21, and I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's worth that. Um, I mean, it's cool if you really like Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, but it also feels like... Oh, this is it. So this is what you pop off. And that's how you can put the hand through. Alright. So then you have to have this floating around. It's okay if you want to store your parts in it or something, but it's a little weird. Let's get a look at this with the, uh, the, the, the toy crew so far. We're going to grab uh, Eric. Well, not Eric. Uh, Hank. Henry. So here's, here's old, old Hank. Um, take deep care to not break this figure. Because this is one of the ones that had problems. Uh, pretty sure these are designed for the the movie figures. But we're going to take a look at this because this is all that I have. So the whole idea is that you stick the hand through there. And then it makes it look like he's, he's stuck inside. Which is kind of a cool effect. Now, that being said, this probably should have came with... Uh, a figure 
let's be honest, any figure would have done okay. There were tons of characters in that movie. They could have easily have done that. Um, I don't know why they didn't. Now, what I'm probably going to do is put all of the figures in here because there's quite a few holes inside of this, and that just kind of makes me laugh. Uh, <laughs> so we're not going to do this. Put this back on. And then if you look on here, the little dots, there's one right there and there. You can actually put the figures using the, the foot the foot pieces there. Um, we're going to put that, that here. So what you can actually do is just have them like stuck right there. <laughs> now the problem, one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to put Venger inside of there as well. Avenger's too big. <laughs> he doesn't even fit inside this. So uh, I guess he's going to stand on top like, Mwahaha, I've caught them. Um, whatever. I still think it's cool. Um, this might end up being a gift to a friend who does play Dungeons and, and or Dragons. Uh, Dinans, Drives and, and Drives or whatever it is. Uh, uh, he, uh, he might might get more out of this than I would. I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent on it right now. I thought it was going to be a little smaller, but then that was just me being dumb. Uh, I'm going to try to put all the figures in here. There's six pegs, and there's... Uh, no, yeah, there's six pegs, and then there's also six figures. So then Fender could be like, -ha -ha, and all the bad guys could laugh at them. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Because <laughs> it actually does block the figures that I like. Now, I do have a bunch of skeletons... Uh, figures and this might become my skeleton uh, my skeleton keeper box uh, I just gotta find them all literally just a bunch of skeletons sticking in here might be cool enough so there it is uh, if you were wondering uh, oh geez look at me there's a little notch here, and there's a notch right here. So that's where this is probably supposed to go. Hey, look, I did it. So there it is. That is the gelatinous cube. Um, cool enough as it is. It, really, it's a storage box. Let's be honest. <laughs> it feels like it should just have a handle on top or something. Um I cannot believe that this was $35 retail. Um, it's it's 14 accessories that really is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, not even six because you can't even use it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Because what are a bunch of bones going to get you um, accessory wise? I, I, I think it, this. I mean, there's a reason why this is already on clearance. Um, I probably could have, should have waited till it was like 15, 10 or 15. Um, it's neat enough as it is, but uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give this one a wait for clearance. Uh, <laughs> wait, for, definitely wait for the clearance on this one, um, unless you're just huge in the Dungeons and Dragons and 35 bucks is a drop in the bucket to you. Um, this is kind of a, it's just a big hollow thing. Now, a cooler thing is if you have a Dungeons and Dragons group and you want to put your miniatures in here, that would actually be a really cool uh, idea. If you're if you're into doing that sort of stuff, my friend is so. I might I might just give this to him and say, "Congratulations, here's your gelatinous cube." <laughs> Who knows? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, and until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. This is. Uh, cube